Hey everyone, welcome to the third part of the AI traffic system. In this lesson, I'll show you how easy it is to set up your vehicle to follow splines and traffic light behavior. I'll also assume that you've successfully set your vehicle up as a child of the AI car source from the previous lesson. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so to go ahead and get started, uh, I'm going to go ahead and move over in this space inside the test world. And I'm going to go ahead and drag out our car example. Next thing I'm going to do is go ahead and drag out a road spline, the road spline BP. And at this point, the vehicle, if you've used the uh, child version of the AI car source, it should be by default set to look for a spline drive. And what you're going to want to do is first select the first path, which is going to be the path that we just created. In our case, so using the eyedropper tool, I'm gonna just go ahead and easily select that road spline. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually make this road spline a little bit longer. So the, the spline I just created, I'm gonna select the endpoint and just drag them out a little bit. And now I'm gonna go ahead and hit the play button just so you can see how easy it is to get this up and running. So now that car is actively following a road spline until it ends. And that's the end of the road spline. So what you can do is um, uh, first to go over the vehicle itself. You have options of uh, setting up your parking search range. We'll get more into the parking space options. Uh, following waypoints. We'll also get more into the waypoints later. Your vehicle lights, you can set the vehicle light intensity, the brake light intensity, and the headlight intensity, uh, turn light intensity. Um, the brake light material ID, this is the ID that you will use if you wanted to individually change the car's uh, material ID directly from inside the scene as, ex uh, as opposed to when you have set it up earlier while setting up your car child. Uh, the headlight material, the turn material for right and turn material for left. Um, this option here is to turn the headlights on. Uh, in this example, I'll show you. I'm going to press the G key to hide everything. And if I go ahead and press to turn the headlights on, you'll see the headlights turn on. And another important note I would like to make is um, inside your car example, you do have the option to place where those lights are going to be located. So um, that's one step that I failed to mention in a previous video. But you can, of course, place the lights where they would go on the vehicle. I'm going to go ahead and compile real quick. And the other options are basically that it will be it for uh, what you can set up for the vehicle. Of course, if you change the state, those other options we'll get into later. Um, some of the system automatically drives these options, such as engine off and stopped. But follow waypoint parking and spline drive is currently what is available. Other features are going to be added later. Um, back to the road spline. The road spline itself has multiple options where you can choose your next spline of going straight, turning right, turning left, or doing nothing. So when a vehicle reaches the end of the spline, it will not do any of these options. There's a speed multiplier that could change the speed of the vehicle. Uh, this is a work in progress at the moment, but it will be fine tuned later. Um, at the moment, it will work where 1.0 will accelerate the vehicle and zero will obviously keep it from going anywhere. You can assign a traffic light to the spline. You can use uh, turning lights if the uh, vehicle is, if you like the vehicle to use the turn lights for turning lanes. And there's a debug option as well for uh, the bug line duration and thickness. So to give you a quick example on choosing different paths, I'll go ahead and uh, let's see if we can find, press the G key again. So this is the end point. I'm going to shorten it and I'm going to create another spline. 
And for this spline, let's say we uh, want the vehicle to turn. So I'm going to just go ahead and press W for move and pull it out some and hold down Alt, sort of give it a banking angle. And that's it. So back to our first spline, we'll go ahead and tell it to turn right on this new spline we created. So now that new spline will have the vehicle turn right. So let's go ahead and play it. And now the vehicle's turning right. So on another side note, uh, if you have multiple directions, so if I also give it the option to go straight or turn left, the vehicle will randomly decide what direction to take. So it all depends on your setup and what you want the vehicle to do on whether or not you want to force it to go a specific, specific direction or not. Um, so next, let's go ahead and talk about traffic lights. So with the traffic light system, uh, it's really quite simple. All you have to do is just bring in a traffic light BP, and this will serve as the first traffic light. But first, your traffic light system does not know how to behave. It, it needs a traffic light and spline system assigned to it. If you do not assign anything to it, it will basically just flash and caution like real traffic's like doing it broken. So what we need to do is uh, we're going to take our traffic light and I'll assign this one as a master traffic light. So choosing a eyedropper again, I'm going to go ahead and select the traffic light. And this is now the master traffic light for this area. So spinning this around, using an example from our previous video, we're going to go ahead and select the spline that we had created. And if you remember, we also had a spline for it to turn right. So if I select this spline and assign a traffic light, I'm going to go ahead and select this traffic light. So now this spline will behave with this traffic light. You probably noticed that there was a debug line that just appeared showing that there's a connection between this spline and this traffic light. So what's going to happen is if this light is ever red, it will not let the vehicle continue to the next spline. Um, until the light is green. So let's go ahead and see an example of this. I'm going to go ahead and hit play. Uh, right now the light's green, so it's probably going to let the car go. <laughs> yes, it will. So what I'll do is uh, let me stop this. I'm going to pull this vehicle back some. And I don't need to move this. I could move this, but the vehicle will still know to travel to this spline. So I'm going to go ahead and hit play. And I'm going to eject so that I could easily navigate in the editor. So now this light's turning red. So the vehicle's going to stop. And it's going to stay there until the light turns green, obviously. And then it'll proceed to whatever direction that it has already assigned itself to travel on. And that's it. So the next thing is the traffic light. In order for it to work as a system, you need to bring in another traffic light. And the first and traffic, second traffic light are in sync with each other. So if I rotate this to face in the opposite direction and I select our first traffic light, I'll go ahead and assign a tra second traffic light as the second light. And you'll see there's a connection now. So these two lights are in sync. If this one's green, so will this one. And you also have the option to use a, a turn signal. So if I hit this checkbox, this light now has an option to have a turning lane. If I turn it off, it will not have an option for a turning lane. And you can also include a third and fourth light. So what I'll do is I'll bring in another traffic light, place it here. Place this one here. Now I can assign, uh, select my master light and assign a third light to this one. 
and a fourth light to the last one we created. And you can see that there's a connection between all the lights when the debug line showed up. So when this obviously when this light is red or green, this one would be the opposite. So if I go ahead and play this, and I'm also going to eject. So there's your green light, here's your red light. Same for the opposite side. Red light, green light. And this was changing to red. And so this one is now green. And it's really that easy. So I'm going to go ahead and stop this. And to show you in action with a full traffic light system, I'll go ahead and play. And that's it. So if you have any questions, feel free to let me know and I'll be happy to address them. Thank you. I also want to mention what the options are for this traffic light system. So basically, um, the options here, if you disable use blinds, you will now see that there's two boxes here. These are the collision zones. Uh, this is a stop collision for the main traffic and for the turning traffic. So basically you can control where the vehicle, uh, when a vehicle should respect the traffic light and that's uh, selected. So the other options available are the light duration, the turn light duration, the light intensity, the traffic light delay, the uh, material IDs for the red, yellow, and green if you want to change those and the uh, turn red, yellow, and green material IDs. You can also change the color of the lights as well with different materials.